the Milton Chamber of Commerce has partnered with the federal and provincial governments to offer free rapid tests to businesses in town. The program launched on May 11th. President and CEO of the Chamber, Scott McCammon, says it's been a long time coming. We're just so happy that the day is here that we're able to give away the, uh, the kits. Um, we, uh, we ordered 15,000 originally. Uh, we have Gordon Food Service. It's an amazing partner with us. They, uh, they're warehousing all the kits for us. Uh, when we first opened the portal for people to order, we had 6,000 people within hours that ordered kits. So I got nervous about uh, the fact that we only had 15,000 kits. So I went online with the provincial government and I ordered 50,000 more kits. So, uh, so now we've got 65,000 kits to uh, distribute in Milton. So if you're a business uh, with under 150 employees, I urge you to get the, uh, the rapid test kits. With the demand for kits in place, why did it take so long to get these tests to local businesses? Milton MPP Parm Gill says the province has done their best to get these tests out as quickly as possible. As we can understand, I mean, you know, things are changing constantly. Uh, so I know, you know, different levels of government are working to roll out programs uh, as needed, but at the uh, at, uh, first and foremost, I would say, you know, we have a responsibility to keep our frontline health care workers and other frontline uh, care workers that, uh, that, you know, that are per performing the jobs on a daily basis, putting themselves in harm way at risk to protect them. And of course, small businesses are, uh, you know, at times uh, part of that uh, frontline uh, staff. So, um, you know, slowly it's being rolled out. And I know that, uh, uh, you know, there, there are things that we can always learn to improve. Uh, but I think uh, everyone's doing an awesome, awesome job uh, at uh, making sure uh, that Ontarians, Canadians, uh, Minnetonians, of course, are all kept safe. And for businesses like Country Heritage Park, these tests couldn't come at a better time. This is one of these things that uh, we've lived through 14 months of trying to get through as a small business. It's been difficult, but I also employ young people and they haven't been vaccinated yet. So I have 20 summer students coming to pay me a visit this summer uh, during various times. And kits like this are going to be essential for small businesses to remain open. That way we know what's going on and we have a firm handle as to what's taking place. And I think it is important that we be able to have this. If my kids get sick, they go off and Country Heritage Park does pay their people to be off on this. So that's a good thing along the way, but we can't ascertain if they're positive or negative unless we have access to the kits that we've just been handed. To order the free rapid test kits, McCammon says the Chamber has a portal on their website. People can book again enough kits, so that's two tests per employee per week. We're giving a two-week supply at once, and then they can go online and reorder. And the trick is that they also have to report their test results to us, so then we can forward that to the, to the government, so that uh, the, the provincial government and Health Canada know what's going on statistically, but also they can, uh, they can also know when people have a positive test. The Chamber has opened operations here at Hugh Foster Hall next to Milton Town Hall, and it will be open on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 10 until 3 p.m. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.